August 19th, 1985. Do I know what I want of Leon? I've said that his friendship and a little time is all I require of him. Perhaps I subconsciously need more from him despite what I tell myself. I can no longer feel the boundaries of my own honesty. I've wrestled with the painful question of whether or not my love for Leon is also sexual. The question has been the source of my first crying episode in a long time. Last Thursday, I was constantly aware of the beauty of Leon's physical shell. When I thought about it later, I cried until my eyes were red. Beauty should never have to apologize for itself, and I must never apologize for admiring beauty. It is, however, the magnitude of Leon's spiritual side that makes him uniquely gifted. He doesn't even know what life-giving sparks fly from his fingertips, like the god figure in Michelangelo's creation of Adam. I could run away, metaphorically for now, literally later, and I would solve nothing. The situation will likely play itself out again, with the names and places changed. The difference between Leon and his friends seems unbridgeable, but bridged it is by Leon's humility. When time makes him bolder, as all of us children get older, Leon will likely know himself better and be less modest. It's not every day that someone inspires me to make a new world. It takes someone of Olympian stature. I don't know what I would have become, what would have become of me had I not met Leon in July of 1985. I suspect I may have starved to death.